Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, StrangeNet here. So today we're going to talk about moving goods, hauling, um, high sec in general. And the amount of people I see get ganked in high sec is painful at times. And generally, you get ganked in high sec generally down to your own stupidity. I can't say it really any better than that. On the odd occasion, you will just generally be unlucky, but the vast majority of it comes down to the decisions you've made even before you undock. Now, the other day, I moved some blueprints through HiSec in a Prowler, and I got a few comments asking why I didn't use X, Y, and Z. And there's a few reasons, um, and there's, each ship has its pros and cons. So, from using a freighter, obviously a freighter is a big hulking beast all the way down to using a leopard and I'll go into a few of these ships in a bit more detail and what I use them for and what and how to try you can't avoid being ganked but you can make yourself as unattractive as possible if somebody is out to gank you then you are going to get ganked and there's very little you can do about it um, a lot of people say oh bring webbing alts bring scouts but at the end of the day all in all if someone is going to gank you, you are going to get ganked sooner or later. Now the single best defense, as I said, about not being ganked is cloaky ships and basically not having enough in your cargo hold that you're worth taking the effort for. But sometimes you have to move, obviously, items which are considerable of, of expense and you need to move them. So how do you go about it? So we're going to take a quick look at the kill boards and all the, the ganked entities here, again, on Z-Kill you can choose advanced options, you can go to ganked, you can choose high sec, low sec, all the rest of it. And we can see down here, just looking down, all these poor souls that have been ganked. Now, again, carrying 3.5 billion in a freighter is just asking to be ganked. And carrying 5.35, if you're using a freighter, even if it is um, bulkheaded, which, let's have a quick check, I dare say this isn't, it took 29 people to gank it, and there we go, we've got expanded cargo, and that decreases the amount of hit points you have on your ship, which is why it took 29 people to gank this person, it was carrying, what, 4 billion, what was the cargo, sorry, um, 1.9 billion isk, and 29 catalysts, we'll assume 10 million each, 290 million isk, and a 1.5 billion isk payout, so, the gankers were well up there. If you're carrying anything over, I'd say 800 million at a, at a push, is just asking to be ganked. And anyway, Providence, 19 billion. It's like, seriously? What? How have you acquired 19 billion isks worth of assets on a stupid enough to be running around with it in your car? And we've even got a plastic wrap here, so... God only knows what is in there. But yeah, dropped eight, uh, six billion isk. Didn't drop the plastic wrap, no. And it took, how many people was it? 30? It doesn't even matter at this point. But yeah, again, you're asking to be gang. And again, we've, we've not even got bulkheads. Bulkheads at least give you extra um, hit points. It's not going to save you. Again, running around with five, six, seven, nineteen million isk in your cargo hold is you, nothing's going to save you. If somebody's going to gank you, they're going to gank you. So just don't do it. And I know at the moment we're looking at freighters, which let's have a look for um, some haulers. Now I'm not going to pick on the Tech Two haulers here because again, well yeah, let's pick on a Tech Two hauler. That's not a Tech Two hauler. Let's have a look, see what happened here. So we're going through Udama, which is a known gank area, and Wow. So, yeah, nothing's, nothing's going to stop you from being ganked. You've got 10k hit points. Would have took 10 people. And what are you carrying? All sorts of rubbish. All sorts of small items. So there's nothing specifically large there that you had to do it in one run. It's not as though you're carrying a core for a station or anything. So that could have been split up quite happily into a lot smaller parcels basically and moved and it's really painful to look at this because again a lot of people moan and complain about being ganked and they've got themselves to blame for it again we've got five million uh, five hundred million isk in a badger here which has the tank of nothing oh well we've tried at least they've had a go but again the best 
way to not be ganked in high sec is don't be putting absurd amounts of isk in something that has no tank, no speed, or anything. And if you are going to do it, because, well, because, because, cloak MWD trick, it will save you more times than not. Whereas this, you've got an align time of, pff, <laughs> what, 15 seconds? And that's more than enough time for someone to drop in and gank you. Let's keep going. Let's have another look. We're not going to spend too long on this, but I just want to drive it home the fact that 8 billion isk, don't do it. 10 billion isk, don't do it. Again, if you're carrying... If, um, if you're carrying over, as I say, 800 million, then expect to be ganked, or the potential to be ganked. If you're carrying several billion isk in your... In your what's wrong with these people expect to be ganked you are going to get ganked it's 10 billion isk it took 26 people so 260 million assuming they're using catalysts which let's face it we're going to be using catalysts there we go and it dropped 1.9 billion isk now that's an unlucky drop to be perfectly honest but either way just don't do it there's no reason to be moving around such absurd quantities of this in a ship that is so easy to be ganked and a lot of people will turn around in the comments no doubt and say well you know should scout should use a web it's generally not going to help you and the reason is is that basically you can get a battleship and you can bump a freighter indefinitely before it can get into warp and even with a web assist alt uh depending obviously what ship you're using but we'll say a bog standard web it's still going to take you 10 to 15 seconds to align in a freighter um so you never you're not going to manage well, it's, you know okay i'll let these off he was in a busted does it did it have a tank or was he just um oh, sino as well what's going on but yeah even even a uh, deep space transport ship with a decent amount of tank is still easily ganked now, obviously, it is a bit harder, and I dare say it was probably a mistake on their part. But again, you know, gankers are smart. But, you know, don't underestimate the fact that people can do what it is required in order to uncloak you and the rest of it, especially if there's a good number of people. And again, these people do it day in, day out. So they know what they're doing. Don't think you're going to outsmart these people. You know, just make yourself as unattractive as possible is the very best defense that you have when all said and done so what alternatives are there and how do i move stuff around now generally as a rule of thumb i don't move anything through udama because it's just a known hot spot for being ganked if i need to for instance if i'm moving from the forge to amar and i need to go through udama i'll sell me stuff here and i'll buy it over in amar there's no need to be moving tens of billions of isks worth of stuff around. Um, and vice versa, if you're going from a mar to the forge, just don't do it. Just sell it in your local region. There's no need to be transporting billions upon billions of isk from one side of a galaxy to the other. Just don't do it. Now, if you are running around, we'll say in the forge, because we're here, you know, if you are, you can get a good amount of stuff. Okay, general rule of thumb. If it's large... And inexpensive, use a freighter. If it's small and expensive, use a smaller ship. Now the Sunnies, which was one of the ships that was bought up, this is generally what I use. I can have a few other bits and bobs in here, but all in all, I don't run around too much with this ship, so I'm quite happy. It's got a under two second line time, so it's nigh on impossible to catch. It's not impossible to catch, but it's very hard to catch. And it's got a decent amount of tank, and it does suit the purpose for what I need. You can also take some of this off. It gives me a two-second align time, which I think puts me into the category of under two seconds, but don't quote me on that, which is why I like the extra one, just to make definitely sure. Now, I could get rid of this. The intervals don't matter. It's, it's per second, so... Uh, having a little bit of extra align time doesn't matter as long as it's under the two seconds there. So I could put an expanded cargo thing in there, which would give me a decent amount. At the moment, the Sunnies is a really good cargo ship. It's got 600 M3, so you can get something relatively expensive in there as long as it's small. So blueprints, high-end minerals, modules, 
you know, if you're carrying around officer modules or anything ridiculous like that, then the Sun is a really good go-to ship. Somebody did mention the Leopard, and although the Leopard is a really nice ship, it has the fastest warp speed of any ship. So it's got an under two second line time, and it has a warp speed, I think, of 20 AU a second, which as I said, I think is the fastest general ship that you can buy. I'm not sure if any of the, uh, the special special ships have any faster warp speed. I can't even find it now. Where are we looking? Warp speed 22.60 now. I think I have an implant in for that, but regardless, it's damn fast. But the problem is with the Leopard is you stand out like a sore thumb. It's a very expensive shuttle and it obviously has no hit points pretty much. So if anybody looks at you wrong, then you are likely to explode and you're painting quite a big target on your back. But if you're moving anywhere, and want to go at speed the leopard is fantastic but generally i don't run around in a leopard because it makes me feel rather unsafe i have been ganked in a few in the past um and yeah they're even more expensive now than they were then so again people are like to try and shoot you just for the hell of it so the other general go-to for myself is the hell the he cat and or hecate or however you want to say it i like he cat it's nice and easy and the <laughs> This got stealth kind of nerfed. I, I did a video on this, and this fit pretty much had a uh, 0.98 second align time. And since then, it has been stealth nerfed. Um, because basically the same fit doesn't... It takes me over one second now, and it is quite hard to, uh, to get this um, under one second align time. Now, I may be able to use... A nano fiber. I'm not in jitter, unfortunately. I don't know if I have. Let's have a little look. See if the nano fiber does it, but I don't think it will. No, I didn't think so. So yeah, it has been stealth nerf. Now I can get an implant, I believe, for um, agility, which hopefully would take me under. And um, the the rounded seconds are important because basically the server works in ticks, and if you're under a second, basically nothing can lock you doesn't mean you can't die because you can still be at smart bomb but it basically means that nothing can physically lock you from start to standing um coming out of cloak or after you've jumped a, a gate where a two second align time is possible to lock you now it is incredibly hard and somebody would have to put in quite a lot of work but it has been done it has been shown to happen so if you are wanting something that is nigh on uncatchable when you want under the one second and again the, the hellcat was great for that but uh yeah, it's stealth nerf means, but it, it costs a little bit more as well to be able to do that nowadays, which is a bit problematic. So, we've got something we need to move, which is a little bit bigger, won't fit in a Sunnies, or, you know, we need more than a 1000 M3. And this is where the Viators and the, uh, the Cloaky ships come in quite handy, because again, you've got, depending on cargo expanders, skills and the rest of it, you've got a decent amount of cargo there to play with. So between 5 and 10k. Obviously having the cloak means it gives you quite a lot of safety, but it doesn't make you obviously invulnerable. So do bear that in mind. If you do get caught by something, you are more than likely going to die. So just be aware, just because you've got a cloak and you can fly cloaked, does give you a huge amount of safety, but you are still gankable. And obviously... Moving on from there, we have the Deep Space Transports. Now, I think it's the Octavia for the Galante. Octa, even. There we go. And these are for when you need to transport something a little bit bigger. And again, you can go up to 50,000 in these because they have the uh, Fleet Hangers. Fleet Hangers Maintenance Bay. What's it called? Fleet Hanger. And up to 50k, and then obviously whatever cargo capacity... Um, you've got in there as a standard so if you've got some larger items you can use these but these can't warp cloaked but you can do the MWD trick on these which will get you an online time of 10 seconds um, you can get that down somewhat if you need but again it adds an element of safety there because basically when you align to something you MWD you cloak you do your thing nothing can lock you before you cloak if it's done right anyway now, again, mistakes cannot be made and will be made, so do be aware of that. But basically, it does offer you quite a lot of protection, um, but you're not invulnerable, but it's safer than not having a cloak. And again, if you are using a general hauler, always, 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 always fit 
cloak and an MWD and learn how to do it because that will make you a lot harder to gank the vast majority of the time. And the times when you would have been ganked, you will probably make it out because people just can't scan you particularly well. Um, as you're getting into warp, they can't scan you. And as you're dropping out of warp, if you're you're on the ball and you're, you're there, they can't scan you either. So nobody knows really what you're carrying. And again, that makes you a little less attractive than, again, some of the other um, haulers moving around that have think they're safe because they have a tank, but generally are not. Again, you know, it doesn't take that many ships to gank even a, a well-tanked basic T1 hauler. So, Cloak, MWD, learn it. It's really important. I do have a video on it. Um, I might do another one just to recap on it if people want. Because, again, it's the single best way of trying to survive moving around. And if you're not using it, you should be. And then, obviously, from here you've got the freighter. Now the freighter, as I say, can carry huge amounts of cargo, but you are a sitting duck, so do use it sparingly. So 411,000 on M3 currently on this ship. And that should be used for transporting, so say, minerals, low-end uh, yeah, low minerals that don't cost a great deal. But again, if you're exceeding the, you know, if I'm exceeding seven... 700 million isk in a freighter I start to feel incredibly vulnerable and you know you are asking sooner or later depending obviously where you're going that you're going to get ganked so do be aware do be careful and again the general rule if it's small and expensive use a small ship if it's large and inexpensive use a freighter and if it falls in between again use an, Octav an Octavia or the uh, the blockade runners Again, uh, your best sources for moving stuff. If you are moving, and again, and if you're in a T1 hauler, don't be putting more than I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put more than thirty million isk in a T1 hauler at the very most, unless, well, generally not unless anything. Don't put anything more than thirty million isk in a T1 hauler because you're just asking to be ganked sooner or later. Um, and again, yeah, it's going to happen. And you know, it's, as we've seen, there's people running around with huge amounts of isk in their uh, cargo hold which just boggles my mind and then they come to the forums complaining about gankers and you know that's a different story entirely but the point is that you have put yourself in a terrible situation which has attracted attention and got you ganked now as i said you can be unlucky and just be randomly ganked people are just out for a bit of fun and maybe it's the end of their day and they you know they've not killed much and you just happen to be the unlucky victim as you're coming past who knows it doesn't really matter. The point is, if you're running around with a lot of cargo, you are sooner or later going to get ganked. So don't do it. Right, and I think with that, I'll wrap it up there and we'll, uh, we'll close down the video. So uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for your time. Do fly safe. Do be careful. Don't be stupid. And you'll be fine for the vast majority of the time. And with that, talk to you later.